a lot thicker than I would like it at this point. Uh, I'll probably take the indirect percussion of this thing, thin it down a bunch more, and then uh, I'll turn the camera back on and show you where we're at. I've been attacking this thing with the indirect, and I just got a couple really nice ones off of here that I wanted to show you. First I took that one off this side, flipped it over, created another platform, and then took this beauty. That helped out a lot. Fixed up this little step fracture here I created earlier. Still a little bit of messy area here, but I should be able to take that out. Maybe with a flake from the other side, coming down this way. Starting to get a little thinner. I think I'll probably... I don't know. I can probably make a Snyder's out of that still. We'll see how it goes. Well, as you can see, I've made quite a few mistakes along this edge, trying to thin it out. Made a series of step fractures, resulting in this weird kind of peak here. I tried to take it out with a bunch of long flakes from this edge. They were nice flakes, but they didn't quite get rid of all of it. This was a bigger mess earlier. What I should do is just notch this thing and turn it into a Snyder's now, but because this is bugging me so much, I think I'm just going to take a series of pressure flakes this way, and uh, try and get closer to here and see if I can pressure flake that out, turn it into a nice flaking pattern in the end, and we'll see what happens. I'll show you the finished product. Here's how it turned out in the end. Pretty happy with it, I guess. Didn't get rid of all of that mess there, but good enough, I suppose. I think I can call this a Snyder's. The kind of base here I have more of a side notch than a corner notch, I guess. Looks like a Snyder's to me. Well here's what I came up with during this Cobden Cannonball Saga. I finished five bifaces of different sizes. Uh, down at the bottom and on the right are the larger flakes that I have left that I'll turn into some points. There are some others that I could make small bird points with, but I'll move on to other different stones before I get to those ones. This Cobden chert that comes out of the St. Louis formation in Iowa is uh, really nice. It was my first time working it. Sometimes it felt kind of like halfway between obsidian and a nice flint in uh, workability and feel. I would highly recommend it to anyone. Works pretty easily with natural tools like stone and antler. I hope you enjoyed watching this process. I enjoyed creating it. I look forward to making different kinds of videos in the future and testing different things out. Thanks for joining me. Cheers.